Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys enjoy the content here. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. So in today's video, we're going to go through how to get a background on a Cisco MPP phone. These are the third party call control devices. These can be registered to Cisco WebEx cloud. They can be registered to a third party uh, PBX provider out there that's in the cloud. So to get started, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the phone and we're going to hit the little gear button at the bottom here. And we need to go down to my network configuration. Hit the little circle button there in the middle to go into it. And we're going to go down. We need to make sure that the web server is on. In step two of this, we need to go in and we need to configure the background using the, the web interface of this phone. So if I scroll down to web server, I can use the left and the right buttons here to toggle between on and off. And then once it is on, you're going to want to go ahead and hit that set button. Next, we need to exit out of here and we need to get the IP address of this phone. You may already have it, but if you don't, what you can do is you can go down to the bottom here where it says status. Again, click the little middle button there and we're going to want to go to network status. Get into there, go down to IPv4 status, click that again, and right here we could see the IP address. So mine's 192.168.128.57. So we're going to go into this phone now, and I'm going to show you guys how to change the background image. Take the IP address, put it right into a web browser, and we're going to HTTP into the phone now. And you can take a look here. I am on my 8865 3 PCC phone. That's that MPP phone. I've actually got this registered to Cisco WebEx Calling. And when you're in here, to change the background, we're going to go over to Voice. We're going to go to User. And then scroll to the bottom here, and right here is the backgrounds that we want the phone to point to. So I've got my picture download URL. This is a image that I created before. You could take a look at my other video on how to create these background images. I give you all the tips and tricks on how to make sure it's the correct size and where to place the logo or the picture you want to use. So take a look at that video. I'll have it posted in the description of this video. Uh, once you guys have that image created, send it to a TFTP server and then make sure that the phone can reach that TFTP server as well. Then if you want, you can put a, you can create another image, a, a very small image that's basically a logo. Uh, if you use this option here, what it's going to end up being is the gray background that the phone has and then in the middle they're just going to put the little logo that you created. We'll show you what that looks like when we go over to the phone here in a minute. And then you can actually set the background, phone background right from here. So if I go down and I hit download picture on the phone, it's going to automatically switch it over to this URL here. Or if I go to logo, it'll set there. So if you're doing this remotely for somebody, they don't actually have to go into the phone and, and change the background image. You could do it automatically for them. So if I click that again, it's going to be this one here. I'm going to set it for default just to show you guys the other way of doing it uh, where you actually go on the phone and you toggle between the two so each user could have their own preference. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit submit all changes here. I've got nothing to save so I get that message. You guys will obviously get one that says that it's confirmed. And let's go over to the phone and I'll show you how to change the images directly on the phone. So back on our phone now we're going to go ahead and click that little gear button again. We're going to scroll down to where it says user preferences, click the little circle, and we're going to go down to screen preferences. Now we're going to go down to where the wallpaper setting is, and by default, it's obviously set on default. We're going to want to scroll right here to download picture. Click set. And then when we go back, our picture should be there. And there you see it. I've got the yellow background with the little blue Cisco logo in there. If you're curious, if you just uploaded a logo, what that would look like, we could go back in under user preferences. And I could change the wallpaper over to logo. We'll set that. Exit out of it again. 
and there you go. I just got a really tiny little Cisco logo right in the middle of the screen with the gray background. So guys, nothing too crazy, nothing too complicated. Again, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you guys have any questions, post them in the comments and I'll try to get back.